I absolutely love my Elgato stream decks. I've bought a couple of them and I've been using them for about two years now. It's pretty much a staple for any streamer these days. Well, I've actually done loads and loads of different tutorials about the Elgato stream deck, but I don't think I've ever done a tutorial where I talk about the benefits and quality of life tips. So in this video, I'm going to be going through 13 quality of life tips for the stream deck, specifically for streamers. So this really is all about making your life easier as a streamer, more convenient using the Elgato stream deck. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go. Massive shout out to own.tv who are sponsoring this video and are my partners. I want to mention a couple of cool new releases from own.tv. One of them is the Call of Duty skins specifically to show your support for Call of Duty and it will brand your stream exactly like Call of Duty. These are official Call of Duty designs. The second thing I wanted to mention was the emote maker here. You can literally make your own emotes and even make them animated. Here we can change the appearance of the emote, design your own avatar and then animate it and then check out the emotes that you then want to purchase. If you use code machine at checkout, you will also get 50% off the price of your order and you'll also be supporting this channel. Tip number one is to enable or disable performance mode or preview mode in OBS Studio. So this is a button on the Stream Deck that allows you to, at the press of a button, basically toggle between the preview mode and the performance mode on your streaming software. I have done a more detailed video on exactly how to set this up, so I will link that on the card above and in the description below. But very briefly, it basically uses a system hotkey switch and you have a hotkey that will enable it. And then from there, your broadcasting software, you can write click this and it will basically enable or disable the preview here we go the preview is enabled but well, that uses quite a lot of your pc's performance so we want to disable that we basically want a button that can do that without you having to go into the software and do it it's just a button on the stream deck this is a really nice and easy thing to set up and i use this every single stream basically when i want a quick look at what i'm doing on stream i want to see what's going on on my own stream i want to just enable that quickly take a quick look and then turn it off straight away again this means that my pc has more resources to put towards the gaming or the music or other things that it might need. On a similar vein, tip number two is to enable and disable studio mode within your broadcasting software, whether that's Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, whatever your broadcast software is, it will have a studio mode, which I'll demonstrate here. Studio mode just enables you to make a change on the scene before you actually switch over to that scene. For example, if you want to change some writing, change a source, enable or disable certain sources, you can do that first and then you click transition and it will transition to that new scene. You can actually do that on the existing scene as well. So you can transition from one scene to the exact same scene, but there'll just be a change on that new scene scene and that's how a lot of the bigger streamers will do quite interesting stuff on their stream again this uses the exact same function that i went through with the performance mode but this time i've got studio mode here and i use a different hotkey to switch between the two again the video that i did for the performance mode or the preview mode will go through exactly how you can set that up so if you need more detail check out that video in the description below tip number three is a display or a monitor capture so basically something that will switch between a game capture and your monitor's capture now, if you're streaming on Twitch or YouTube gaming or something like that, you may only want to stream the game that you're playing. And sometimes there'll be situations where you only want to stream the monitor itself. So anything that's happening on the monitor. Well, I've set up on my stream deck something that allows me to switch between those two things. I haven't done a video about this, so I'll demonstrate very quickly how exactly I've set that up. On the stream deck buttons here, you've got something which called a multi-action switch. And this is what I've used here for the monitor switch. As you can see, one of the pictures is the application and one is the Asus monitor of mine. So it's basically indicating that it's the monitor that's displaying or it's the application capture that's displaying within your broadcast software. So in the background, within my broadcasting software for OBS Studio, I've got a display capture here and I also have the game capture. And what I want to do is to switch between those two things. I want to enable the 4K monitor when I want monitor capture at the same time would want to disable the game capture and then vice versa. And that's what the switch will do. So within this multi-action switch, I'll just show you what the actual actions are. So I would want within my OBS studio, the game capture to be set to hidden. And I would want the display capture 
to be set to show. And this uses the OBS Studio buttons and it uses the sources that I just showed. So to do this, you would simply click on the number one here. We would use the source visibility button here. We would drag it on and we would configure those exactly how I've just shown. Then in number two, so when you toggle between those two things, you would do the reverse. We would have the game capture shown and we would have the display capture hidden. And when we press that button, it will literally toggle between the two. Here we can see in action when I press the button, that's the application capture, which has got a placeholder image and it goes to the display capture, press the button again, and it goes back again. Tip number four is a discord mute and deafen button. So this is basically a button that allows you to mute or deafen discord. If you didn't know what muting and deafening is in discord, one allows you to mute your microphone into discord. So anyone that's talking to you on discord cannot hear when you're talking to your chat as a streamer. And deafening means that not only can they not hear you, but also you cannot hear anything that's coming from discord as well. So you can't hear them talking to you it completely deafens Discord, both from an input and an output point of view. This is really important as a streamer because there'll be times when you're in Discord talking to friends and it gets annoying. You don't want your viewers to have to endure that annoyingness. And also the sort of the reverse is true. There'll be times where you're talking to your chat and you don't want it to become annoying for the friends that you're playing games with and are chatting to in Discord. I've done a full video exactly how you can set this up so you can check that on the card. But just very briefly here, it uses another system hotkey switch one for the muting and one for the deafening here. And then we would need to set a hotkey to turn it on and set a hotkey to turn it off and do the same again within Discord. Again, I've done a full video all about this, so I won't go into all the detail here, but it's super, super convenient to have as one of your main buttons that you use, particularly if you use Discord a lot whilst you're streaming. Stream Deck tip number five here is that you can have a very quick and easy base cam zoom that can take place and it basically will toggle a zoom that can happen on the camera. Now, I just want to say here very briefly i haven't done a video about this but this relies heavily on the nesting video that i've done if you see nest and you want the webcam itself to be able to zoom and do a double zoom or a triple zoom or something like that having it nested is the quickest and easiest way of doing that it essentially means that that zoom function that you implement at a touch of a button on your stream deck can apply to any scene you just have to add that nested scene to it but just to illustrate how we would set this up in principle to give you a feel for how this zoom function works we first need to make sure that we've got a camera source then a copy of that same camera source that zoomed in and then we program it into the stream deck i'll show you how to do that just now so we need to add a new source video capture device and i'm just going to use a different video capture device than this camera here just for ease but the idea here is that it's a zoom in on your face that you can use for comedy effect or something like that so i'm just using a crappy hand cam here just to illustrate what that effect is and then what i'm going to do is add here a source mirror which will basically mirror that source and allow me to do new things to it so i now essentially have two versions of this camera in the same scene one is a source mirror another way that you could do this is using scene nest as I mentioned earlier, is to simply add a camera into a scene. You would add a scene here within OBS Studio, and you can do this within Streamlabs OBS as well. You would add the scene, and you would just add the same camera, but it would be from a scene rather than directly from a source, if that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, watch the nested scenes video, and it will all make complete sense. And we want to resize this. Simply, we're just resizing this and placing it on screen exactly where we want it to be. So let's say in this case, I wanted to zoom into the keyboard, but again, you probably want to do it so it zooms into your face. And what we want to do is go from this to this. We're going to flick between the two and it's a zoom function. So now that we've got our sources set up, we want to go into the stream deck and we want to put a multi-action switch button. Again, this is one of the stream deck standard functions here. So we would drag on the multi-action switch and the two actions that we want is just an OBS Studio source visibility. And for action one and action two, we want one of them to be visible and we don't want the other to be visible. And we want to do kind of exactly what we did with what I showed earlier with the display capture and the screen capture. We want to make one one visible and one invisible. Stream Deck quality of life tip number six here would be a music toggle on your Go XLR. Now this is only applicable if you do have a Go XLR, but also there are other ways you can implement this for your music profile as well. I'm going to discuss the Go XLR because I use a Go XLR, but basically we're looking to toggle the music on and off based on whether or not I want the music on and off. And we're going to use the Stream Deck to do this. Now I covered precisely how to do this with a Stream Deck in tip number two of my last video 
video and that was six different tips for the go xlr so if you do have a go xlr and you want to know exactly how to toggle the music between you and your viewers and whether you want to hear it in your headset or not go check that video out i'll link it down below i'll link it here on a card this is something that you need to have on your stream deck as a button to enable or disable the music if it's for the go xlr you can do it so that the stream can still hear the music and you can't or vice versa maybe you want to hear the music but you don't want the stream to hear your music on that note guess what i've also done a video of how you can set up spotify buttons on your stream deck so i'll also link that in the description below if you simply want to be able to control your music from your stream deck it's a very good strong quality of life trick to add into the mix here stream deck quality of life tip seven is to have a very quick internet speed test on your stream deck really nice and easy all we need to do here is install the bar raider internet speed test and you can literally drag on a button that when you test it it will give you an internet speed test a little bit like this here we can see my download speed is 93.9 my upload is 35 meg to add this you simply need to go to the app store on the elgato stream deck and we search for speed yes it's under utilities here and we can install this here we will just need to click the install button and these buttons here would then become available to you tip number eight is very simple and straightforward integrate the smart lighting into your stream deck and control your lighting from your stream deck a little bit like so so I've used here the Philips Hue integration that's available through the Elgato Stream Deck App Store. But because there are so many different variables here, you're probably going to have a million different types of lighting and I'm not going to go through every single one. There's no point in me going through any particular one. However, when we do a search on the Stream Deck store here from Elgato, we can see there's loads of different integrations, including Lumia Stream IQ, Color Light, Nano Leaf. For information, Lumia Stream does integrate with loads of different lighting providers for smart lighting, which then means essentially you can integrate a load more more different lighting so if you don't see what you need in this list i recommend looking at lumia stream and just simply integrating this into your stream deck the result is that you can basically just do all kinds of things from the press of a button on your stream deck turning lights on and off changing the colors and just generally setting a different color vibe for your stream stream deck quality of life tip number nine is to integrate the twitch buttons to your stream deck if you've not already done this it takes a couple of seconds to do it and i have done a video all about it i'll link it on the card over there and in the description below i literally have so many different El elgato stream deck tutorials it's getting ridiculous really but here's a good flavor of the types of things that you can add here as the buttons you can slow chat you can clear the chat chat commands or even do markers you can even clip automatically at the press of a button you can put it into subscriber chat only and you can even have text as well so i can link to my twitch account here i can give it a title and i can actually message directly to my twitch chat here obviously this only works if you are on Twitch. Quality of life tip 10 here from the Stream Deck is to sleep the Stream Deck. This is a built-in button from the Stream Deck. So all you have to do here is locate the Stream Deck buttons that are here by default. And we just want to drag on the sleep button, which will drag on this here. And basically you want to say we want it to sleep every single device. Now, when I press this button, you won't really see anything within the software. So I'll just throw up some footage of me pressing it on my Stream Deck here. And you can see the effect that that has on the Stream Deck itself. Quality of life tip 11 here for the Stream Deck is that you can actually install icon keys directly from the Elgato store. Now, most people will already know about the key generator from Elgato. If you don't, I will link a website to that. In fact, let me just show you what this looks like. So this is a website where you can create keys on the Elgato website here, which then can be saved to your device and you can upload them into the Elgato Stream Deck software. Most people already know Know about this but what you may not know is that within the, the store here so let me just click on the little icon there is an icon section here and we can search for different icon sets here for example if i wanted the nvidia icons here i can click install I will install these here. We see it just loading up there. Now, straight away when you install that, it's not obvious where those icons actually are. But if I now go on that sleep button that I just created and I click the down button here and click to open Stream Deck icon library, this is a library of icons that I've installed onto the device. Now, by default, you will have the Elgato library here, but by default, you will not have all of these others. And we can see here the NVIDIA ones that I installed are now available. So if I wanted to change the icon to one of these, I could simply select them and it will display that button on there. I've probably chosen quite a boring example because they're not the best buttons I've ever seen. And these are also not that good either, but they at least have a Taco Bell one. There you go. Sleep button, Taco Bell. Makes complete sense. <laughs>
Quality of life for your stream deck. Tip number 12 is that you can have icon sets. You can create custom wallpapers for your stream deck. I've done a dedicated video all about how you can create this. It's a really popular video of mine. I'll link it on the description and maybe in the card if I've got any more cards left because you can only upload six cards to a video, which is quite annoying. This just allows you to put some branding or something cool on the stream deck like this. My final tip here, stream deck quality of life tip 13, is that you can actually have animated icons on your stream deck as well. Now, there are loads of different icon packs you can download and install. For example, my partner's own.tv have loads that you can buy. Make sure you use code machine to get 50% off any of those icon packs at checkout. I've also done a video that shows how you can upload custom GIFs to your stream deck as well. So if you want silly buttons and animations on there, you can sort of make anything that you want in any kind of custom way that you want as well. And these are highly customizable because it's literally any GIF that you create or that you can find on the internet. So that was 13 quality of life tips for the Elgato stream deck. Hopefully you did find it useful. If you did, drop a like, feel free to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day. Take care.